ಗುರವೆ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮನೋಭಿಸ್ತ ಸ್ಥಾಪಿತ ಭೂತಲೆ ಸ್ವಯಂ ರೂಪ ಕದ ಮಾಯಂ ಕದಾತಿ ಸ್ವಾಪಯಂತಿ ವಂದೇಹ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ಶ್ರೀಯುತ ಪಾರಕಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ವೈಷ್ಣವ ಶ್ರೀರೂಪಂ ಸಗ್ರಜಾಥ ಸಹಕಲಾಘುನಾಥ ತಂ ಸಜೀವ ಸದ್ವೈಥಂ ಸವದೂಥ ಪರಿಜನ ಸಹಿತ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ದೇವ ಶ್ರೀರಾಧಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪಾದ ಸಹಗಲ ಲಲಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಕಾಂತ ಹೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕರುಣಾ ಸಿಂಧು ದಿನಾಂತ ಜಗತ್ಪತಿ ಗೋಪಿ ಸ ಗೋಪಿಕಾಧಕಂತಮಸ್ತು ತಪ್ತಕಂಚನ ಗೌರಂಗೀರಾಧಿ ಬೃಂದಾವೈಶ್ವರಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ಶ್ರೀಯದ್ವೈತ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತೆ ಯೋಗ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಸರ್ವಸ ಹಿರ್ಡಿ ಸನಿಷ್ಟು ಮತ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಅಪುಹನ ಚೈಸ್ವೈಹಂ ವಿದ್ಯು ವೇದಾಂತಕೃತ್ ಸ್ಮೃತಿಜ್ಞಾನ ಅಪೋಹನ ವಿದ್ಯು ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಅಪೋಹನ ವಿದ್ಯು ಸ್ಮೃತಿಗಣ ವಿದ್ಯು ಸ್ವಾಸ್ 
Situated, situated. Mata from me, me. Smriti, remembrance, Jnanam, knowledge, knowledge. Apuhanam, forgetfulness, forgetfulness. Cha, Cha, and Vedai, by the Vedas, Cha. Also, also. Saravahi, all. all. Aham, Aham, I am. am. Eva, Eva. certainly. Vedya, knowledge. Vedanta Krit, the compiler of the Vedant. Vedavid, the knower of the Vedas. Eva, Eva. certainly. Cha, and Aham I. I translation and purport by the divine grace Vesi Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada I am seated in everyone's heart and from me come remembrance knowledge and forgetfulness by all the Vedas I am to be known indeed I am the compiler of it of Vedant, and I am the knower of the Vedas. Please repeat. I am seated in everyone's heart, and from me come remembrance, knowledge and forgetfulness. By all the Vedas, I am to be known. Indeed, I am the compiler of Vedant. And I am the Noah of the Vedas. Purport. The Supreme Lord is situated as Paramatma in everyone's heart. And it is from Him that all activities are initiated. The living entity forgets everything of his past life. But he has to act according to the direction of the Supreme Lord, who is witness to all his work. Therefore, he begins his work according to his past deeds. <clears throat> if, you, if, if, you, if you have listened very carefully, 
you will notice something how helpless all of us are <laughs> you see that we are extremely helpless without the help of Krishna for anyone to do anything it is the mercy of Krishna to remember anything it is Krishna's mercy especially when we are asleep we are dead completely dead no one remembers who he or she is I'm a billionaire I am this I am that it's all finished it's gone no one remembers any even if you tie billions of dollars in your hand and sleep still you don't remember you forget nothing only if Krishna wake us up that is when we will come back to life. If Krishna forget, I will. <laughs> we will meet in Goloka. <laughs> it is Goloka we will meet, not here. If Krishna forget to wake us up. So for anyone to get up from sleep, it is the mercy of Krishna. This is what Prabhupada is just explaining right from the beginning here as Paramatma <coughs> the future of Krishna out of his costless mercy we did not request him to stay with us none of us here requested Krishna to stay with us he is staying with us out of his costless mercy and while he is staying we can remember something we can also forget <clears throat> that is the meaning he used the word the dant or beda as a principle of knowledge I the principle of knowledge residing in the heart of all living entity out of my costless mercy, Christian's costless mercy We can remember <coughs> the things which we have forgotten. Krishna will make us to remember everything we are doing before we start doing them. It is Krishna who helps us to remember. And because this knowledge is not common, it's not available everywhere, people are perplexed how things are working in this world. Why someone is hating me so much, even though we are meeting for the first time? Why is it that I have never seen this person before? And practically speaking, I have not done anything to this person for this lifetime. But this person hates me so much. Why is that? Because the super soul is informing the other person this person standing or sitting before you, working with you, in the previous life, both of you had some past times. And he did all this to you. Now is your chance. Pay it back to him. Though, therefore, the person is acting. And we are surprised. Why am I getting so much hatred from this person? It is coming to us because the super soul is reminding that person give it to him or her because that was a plan both of you have made in past life <clears throat> the super soul is acting so he said he redeems and it be star i am staying in the heart krishna used this word in so many places in Bhagavad Gita. I am residing in the core of heart, according to Prabhupada. He Prabhupada used that word, the core of heart, many places. I'm sitting in the core of heart. 
the living entities. But Krishna is not sitting here to act whimsically. Krishna is sitting here to do an intelligent activity. No mistakes. We can make mistakes, but Krishna doesn't make mistakes. He knows everything. Anumanta Upadrasta. I know everything, I remember everything because I witness everything. We can witness limited things, but Krishna witnesses everything. Not only in one species, in all species of life. In all species of life, in all lives, at different times, Krishna witnesses everything and super soul. Therefore, he gives a permission. Without his permission, nothing can work. So Krishna is sitting here to direct all our wonders. Jantra Arudhani Mayaya. Arudhani, this machine given by Maya. The living entity is sitting there, a super soul. This is chapter 18. And he is directing all our wanderings, both ups and downs, our, the sweet and the bitter part. He is directing everything. How is he doing that? He's not just sitting there and selecting, okay, you, or you, or you. No, it is based on our activities that someone is remembering and someone is forgetting. Just like electrical engineer, <laughs> you can make a machine which will produce heat and cool. Hmm? It, from the fridge, you get the cold water. And from the same electricity, you can get the burner. From the same energy, it's functioning both ways. According to the application. In the same way, according to <clears throat> how we are acting, the super soul is giving us permission to enjoy the result as we have performed. <clears throat> this is what Prabhupada is explaining here. Therefore, he begins his work according to his past deeds. According to our past deeds. In third canto of Bhagavatam Matrimony, he, he, speaking to Bidura, he said, Every living entity is born in this material according to our past activities. Everyone. So some, someone can ask, I love myself very much and I wouldn't like to do anything harmful to me, to myself. I can do to somebody but not to myself. So how is it that I have caused my suffering if it is not someone else? How can I cause myself pain? It is difficult to see someone <coughs> thinking himself or herself. <coughs> but that is what we are doing in the material world, thinking ourselves. How are we doing that? Ignorance. Ignorance. That's what Rupa Goswami said. All of us are suffering in this world due to ignorance. Required knowledge is applied to him. And remembrance also is given to him. And he forgets also about his past life. Though the Lord is not only all pervading, he is also localized in every individual heart. He awards the different fruitive results. He is worshipable not only as the impersonal Brahman, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, and the localized Brahmatma, but as the form of the incarnation of the Vedas as well. The costless mercy of Krishna, that he also gives us the scripture, our guidance, 
Although we whimsically <coughs> try very much to avoid the Vedas, nor do we even want the Vedas, but Krishna has given it to guide us. That is his costless mercy, and that is why he is staying in the heart. He is staying in our heart just to guide us. Because he is the Supreme Father. <coughs> A father care for the children because of the love he has for the children. Therefore, the father will act in different ways to help the child. Mm. Like Pushatan Mas. Right? Pushatan Mas. Krishna told the Pandavas, you did not perform Prashatam Mass. That is why you lost a kingdom. <laughs> <coughs> you didn't perform Prashatam Mass. It has passed. Therefore, I'm requesting you that don't forget it next time. Don't forget it. Next time, be ready. And Anyone who has not observed Prasatam Mass can never practice pure devotional service. Unless that is performed, then there is a chance of becoming a pure devotee. The Vedas give the right direction to people so that they can properly mold their lives and come back to Godhead. Back to whom? The Vedas offer knowledge of the Supreme Presidency of Godhead, Krishna. And Krishna, in his incarnation as Vyasadeva, is a compiler of the Vedanta Sutra. The commentation of the Vedanta Sutra by Vyasadeva in the Srimad Bhagavatam gives the real understanding of the Vedanta Sutra. The Supreme Lord is so full that for the deliverance of the conditioned soul, he is a compiler and digester of full stuff, a witness of his activity, and a giver of knowledge in the form of the Vedas, and as the Supreme Presidente of Godhead, Sri Krishna, the teacher of the Bhagavad Gita. He is worshipable by the conditioned soul. Thus God is all good. God is all merciful. So Krishna spoke Bhagavad Gita. <clears throat> Why Krishna spoke Bhagavad Gita? Krishna spoke Bhagavad Gita because he loved his friend Arjuna. Bhagavad Gita is the love letter of Krishna to his friend Arjuna. When he was completely perplexed. Perplexed. Perplexed, confused, and anxiety, despondent, does not know what to do. So Krishna said, Oh, you want the solution? And you said, Yes, please give to me. So Bhagavad Gita is of Krishna's love letter for his friend Arjuna. <clears throat> so when a devotee takes Bhagavad Gita in hand, he takes Bhagavad Gita in hand, just like you take a chanting bead in hand and you sit down, or you take a knife and enter into a kitchen, you have a specific thing to do. Right? So when we take Bhagavad Gita, what are we trying to do? We want to hear what Krishna has to speak to us. Not what Krishna wants to speak to somebody. What Krishna wants to speak to me, who is holding Bhagavad Gita in my hand. Krishna wants to address my problem, my issue, my frustration, my anxiety, my perplexity. Krishna wants to address it because of his love, his kindness. <clears throat> he gave these instructions to guide us, to help us be on track. 
A person who is confused cannot do anything wonderful. Because the brain is not working properly. <laughs> so we need somebody else who is not perplexed, who is free. Location is free, transcendental, Purusha, Utama. He can give proper direction to, to those who are confused and bewildered in this material world. So Bhagavad Gita is for this purpose, the guide for those who want to know the right thing to do in life. So when we take Bhagavad Gita in hand, we should try to understand that now Krishna wants to speak to me about my situation. If we don't have this understanding, we are not going to enter into the mysteries of understanding Bhagavad Gita of understanding the purpose for which Bhagavad Gita was spoken. <clears throat> yes, as if you don't know why we are taking chanting beat in our hand, we are not going to chant the holy name. We simply want to sit down and allow the mind to take us out, allow the mind to cheat us from our bed right. See, if you don't understand why we are taking Bhagavad Gita in, in our hand, we are going to be cheated <coughs> because we will not be able to understand why Bhagavad Gita is in our hand. Bhagavad Gita is not in our hand as a scholar. <coughs> Bhagavad Gita is in our hand because Krishna wants to speak to us. Therefore, we should hear what Krishna wants to speak. If you really want to hear from, from a friend who, who has our interest in his heart, then we should give attention. We should understand. If you have gone to somebody for help, we should give attention to the person. We should give attention. Why have I come to you? Why have I taken Bhagavad Gita in my hand? What is Bhagavad Gita in the first place? What is it? What do I want to do with the book in my hand? If you really understand this, I want to hear what Krishna wants to speak to me. And if my problem is really serious that I need someone to speak to me, then I should give attention. I should hear what the person has to tell me. <clears throat> Krishna does not flatter his friend, Arjun. He didn't. He gave him the solution to the problem. And after giving Bhagavad Gita, as a perfect teacher, Krishna said, yeah, my friend, did you listen to me with your mind? Krishna did not say, Hridi, Hridi. The word Hridi is used here. Krishna did not say, did you hear me with your head? Did you hear me with your eyes? Krishna said, did you hear me with your attentive mind? Chapter 18. Why Krishna is asking this question? Because anyone who has heard Krishna, he explained in the next verse, will not be the same again. Anyone who make a mistake to hear Bhagavad Gita will not be the same. Cannot be the same. When Krishna asked Arjun this, did you hear me with an attentive mind? Arjun said yes. And then what is the situation? Nasta! Mohan Smriti Labda! That is the purpose of hearing Bhagavad Gita. My illusion is gone. My weakness is destroyed by your costless mercy. Now I am strong. I am ready to do whatever you want me to do. I'm ready to do that. That is Bhagavad Gita. That is Bhagavad Gita. Anyone who makes me say to hear Bhagavad Gita, this will be our situation. This will be our experience. Bhagavad Gita is not for a certificate. Bhagavad Gita is for purification of the heart. To understand that <coughs> we are not material beings who is trying to venture into spirituality but we are spiritual entity <laughs> who are forgotten 
our identity and our undergoing material experience. It's about Gita. <coughs> so Krishna gave it to us out of his costless mercy. So he used the word here, Gyanam. I am sitting in the heart to guide, to guide you. How you can come to me. So when he is guiding us, we should give him attention. If we are responsible children, we should give him our parent, our father, the attention. For what he's giving, we should give him attention. Why is that? Because he's giving the instruction for our own benefit. So our own benefit. Panta Pravishta Shasta Jananam. The living entity forgets as soon as he quits his present body. But he begins his work again, initiated by the Supreme Lord. Although he forgets, the Lord gives him the intelligence to renew his work where, where he ended his last life. So not only does a living entity enjoy or suffer in this world according to the dictation from the Supreme Lord situated locally in the heart, but he receives opportunity to understand the Vedas from him. The Christian is saying the heart for this purpose. If one is serious about understanding the Vedic knowledge, then Krishna gives the required intelligence. Why does he present the Vedic knowledge for understanding? Because a living entity individually needs to understand Krishna. Vedic literature confirms this. Your soul survive Vedai Giyate. In all Vedic literature, beginning from the four Vedas, Vedanta Sutra, Alupanishad, and Puranas, the glories of the Supreme Lord are celebrated. By performance of Vedic rituals, discussion of the Vedic philosophy, and worship of the Lord in devotional service, he is attained. Therefore, the purpose of the Vedas is to understand Krishna. The Vedas give us direction by which to understand Krishna and the process of realizing him. The ultimate goal is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. The Dante Sutra 1.1.4 confirms this in the following words. Tattoo Saman the Saman Bayat. One can attain perfection in three stages by understanding Vedic literature one can understand his relationship with the Supreme Perceptive of Godhead by performing the different processes one can approach him and at the end one can attain the Supreme Goal who is no other than the Supreme Perceptive of Godhead in other words <coughs> the Vedas or this verse Krishna is telling us Krishna is telling us in this verse that from this verse I am trying to establish our relationship. I am trying to teach you our relationship. Some banda, gyan, you will get from this verse. Abhideya, what is the duty of <coughs> our relationship when we have come to God? What is between us? Devotional service. It is that which is beyond, between the living entity and the supreme perspective of Godhead. And what is the perfection of the devotional service? Payojana. That's the result. So Krishna is saying, in this verse, I am trying to make the connection. What is the relationship we have with each other? That should be clearly understood. In that relationship, the activities which we have to perform, how we have to perform that, Gyan, we need knowledge to understand that how we should do this activity, in what consciousness we perform our devotional activities, in Krishna consciousness. 
And what is the goal? When the goal is attained, that is, a, that is the perfection of life. And in this verse, the purpose of the Vedas, the understanding of the Vedas, and the goal of the Vedas are clearly defined. Hare Krishna. Comments or questions? Thank you for the class so much. Uh, I, I was just trying to understand the very last sentence where Prabhupada is saying the purpose of the Vedas, the understanding of the Vedas, and the goal of the Vedas, and the I'm just trying to understand the difference between the purpose of the Vedas and the goal of the Vedas. No, it, it, it is the same thing. Sambanda, Videya, Prayoja. Prabhupada repeated the, the same thing in a different way <laughs> for our understanding. <clears throat> the goal, the purpose, hmm? And the existence of the Vedas is to help us attain pure love of Godhead. Go back home, back to Godhead. This is what Prabhupada is saying. That's what it means. It is not to become speculators. In history, we have so many, so many. They call them according to Sri letter of instruction. I'm going to discuss that soon. According to letter of instruction, Gyanis, huh? Gyanis, <coughs> Rupa Goswami called them prayas. They are within prayas. Prayas means what? Useless labor. Useless labor, useless engagement, waste of time. <laughs> they have simply wasted their time for nothing. Prayas. Because you know the goal, the goal of studying the Vedas is to help us understand what is the relationship between the living entity and Krishna. If they cannot help us to understand this, then they are useless. And our studying them is a waste of our time. <coughs> right? Maju is telling about uh, Adik Mas. There is no much stress given by previous Acharyas regarding how to observe Yes. <laughs> One devotee once asked the Prabhupada, so the Prabhupada, what is Rudra Vrat? So Prabhupada said, do you want to know? Said, yes, Prabhupada, please tell me. He said, for one month, don't eat, don't sleep. Can you do that? <laughs> The devotee put down his face. <laughs> One month, 30 days, no eating, no sleeping. Only Chana Hare Krishna. Prasata that's what it means. Hmm? So how many people can know that? <clears throat> so, therefore, Sila so did not push it. He didn't push it. But, although he didn't push it, but he used his energy to cover us. And that is making some of us to be lazy. <laughs> lazy. Very lazy. <laughs> so it is there. Just like also in Chita Chattavrita, 
<coughs> Chita Mahaprabhu, he will feed all the devotees and encourage them to eat up to the neck and dance in Kirtan. In Jagannath Puri, he was doing that every day. And it is the same Jagannath Puri, he singled out only one devotee. And he told him, not in Vrindavan, not in Mayapur, in Jagannath Puri, Anna Chitra. Chitra Mahaprabhu told him, listen, listen, don't eat like these people. <laughs> in Jagannath Puri, and he is feeding the devotees. He said, Don't eat like these people. Which people? Which people? Huh? The devotees. Not Karimis, the devotees. So why why did he do that? Why he didn't tell everybody? Is he partial? All of them are his disciples. Why he didn't tell them the same instruction? He is taking only one devotee out of the crowd and he's telling him, don't eat like these people. Don't dress like these people. Don't talk like these people. In your mind, always live in Vrindavan. He didn't ask him to come to Vrindavan and live there. He gave him instruction in Jagannath Puri. Because Chitam Mahaprabhu, he saw that this devotee can handle it. Therefore, he gave it to him. That is the duty of a bona fide Acharya. When they are speaking, they know whom they are speaking to in that audience. The Guru knows whom he's speaking to in every crowd. He knows who he is speaking to, who will listen, who will take it. He knows. But he's speaking, he speaking, he will not call the person in the separate room. He will speak to the public. And those who are ready will pick it. So you will always see that Krishna and Krishna's pure devotees, they always come here disguised to scout for those who are ready. They will deal with the many, but they will not forget the one. They will deal with the many, they will not forget the one. Today we are dealing with the many and forgetting the one. And we are considering that success. It is not it's a defeat. Success means we are dealing with the many and we are not forgetting the one. So Chitam Mahaprabhu did. He dealt with many and he didn't forget the one. He singled out this person. You can understand me. You can take it. So this is your life. Take this. Uh, Raghunath Das Goswami accepted and he lived his life like that perfectly. <clears throat> and from his sacrifice, we are enjoying Krishna consciousness today. So they didn't give us <clears throat> most of the things they're supposed to give because we cannot handle. Our Prabhupada was in a class one day. Our Prabhupada, he was in a class one day when his spiritual master was speaking. So the Bhaktisar Saraswati Thakur was speaking. And there was an old man sitting with Prabhupada. <coughs> but this Saraswati English is really, really very hard. <laughs> Strong. <coughs> so the old man was not able to understand what he was speaking. So he asked our Prabhupada, what did he say? And our Prabhupada was translating to him. But this is the last he saw. And he looked at him. Go and give your class on that side. <coughs> the 
But this is answers what he he hates the old man. He doesn't want him to hear. Is that the reason? He is telling our proper I am speaking to you because you have your duty. I am giving it to you. You should listen to me and get ready for your duty. Don't waste your time with him. He has a different service. You have a different service. Don't waste your time with him. Take your own and be ready for your duty. So he understood. And he took it. That is why we are sitting here today. <clears throat> they know whom they are speaking to in every audience. He knows. So Professor Mars is there. The proper did not force it. But he didn't enforce other things. But he left it open. He didn't close it either. He didn't force it and he didn't close it. He left it open. Those who are fortunate, who are really, really very fortunate, they will see from the pages of his book, they will see, oh, this is here. Since gratification and Christian consciousness goes ill together, they will see it and take it up. While majority will read, will never see it. The same about the guitar. Thank you. Yes. Okay, all right, all right. Because my girlfriend is here. After him. According to this verse, Maharaj, we, if we understood the Vedas, the purpose and the goal, and the, this one word is past deeds. Can we escape from the past deeds? Past deeds. That is ah. Ah, okay. past deeds. Because yes, yes, yes. Okay. that is also okay. directed by the Lord. He is yes. witnessing. Yes. <laughs> yes. We can overcome all unnecessary things, dualities. All of them can be destroyed by the fire of devotional service. It is possible. That is why we are here. If it is not possible, we will not be here because there is no need to practice. <clears throat> we are practicing to become pure from all these unnecessary things. So we can go back to Godhead. Going back to Godhead means that we are free from all this. Free, 100%. So it is possible. If it is not possible, we will not be here. All right? <laughs> yes. Sorry. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Is it mean that one will be saved and all others not? Does it mean that one will be saved and others not? Everybody has the chance to be saved. Everybody. Because we have our right as part and parcel of Krishna. We have right to become pure devotee of Krishna and go back and back to Godhead. But not all in the same time. Because we have different desires. Different backgrounds. So perfection will not be at the same time. Today may be yours, tomorrow another person. <laughs> like that. <clears throat> but Prophet has given us the chance to become perfect and go back to Godhead. Throw out his books, back home, back to Godhead. Back home, back to Godhead. That is his desire. But we should meet up. Hmm? This is his desire. We should meet up. That is our duty. Right. And the second question. Srila Prabhupada himself never observed Prashottamamas and uh, Chaturmasya. And he prohibited to Bhakti Chau Swami, who was a Brahmachari in Mayapur, to observe Chaturmasya. 
he forced him to eat Mahaprasad in front of him. And he said, I will kick all your austerities by one way. Like one kick, I will kick all this. You, need, you have difficulties, you tell me. By one kick, I will destroy all your difficulties. So what we should do? Karmis, we can see, they doing Dandavat Parikrama, around Vrindavana, around Govardhan. This is Karma Kandiya. Should we put our service aside and just go to Dandavat Parikramas? Or if not taking grain, not eating, we cannot do properly our service again? If we if we do austerity, which will make us not to do our devotional service, it is wrong. It is wrong. The purpose is defeated. <coughs> we should do austerity and still be able to do all our services. It's perfect. It's bona fide. And it should be done. If we really want to make it. Because the karma which we have is really heavy. So we need to do something to to move hmm? to move forward move forward we need it Sri so Prabhupada has that power and he did to kick out all our hmm, difficulties how many of us are really offering ourselves up for him to to kick out all these things how many of us are doing that from my little experience, looking at so many devotees, I have seen that majority of us are completely outside proper interest. We are acting against the proper interest. How will he kick our narratives out by that? We are supposed to stand by the Prabhupada. Standing by the Prabhupada means we are cutting out his instruction directly as it is. Many of us are acting against his own interest. How will he kick our narratives? Krishna and pure devotees, they protect sincere devotees. They don't protect cheaters. So we cannot say there is no protection. The protection is there, but we have to meet up with the protection. Otherwise, it will be cheating. <coughs> Therefore, Krishna responds according to our input. That is why you see all of us who are chanting the same Hare Krishna mantra, the same Bhagavad Gita we are reading, the same people are worshipping, but we are not on the same level. Why? Our inputs are different. Hmm? So, <clears throat> that is a perfect instruction. He didn't force austerity on us. He gave us a chance, simply follow what I have given you. Proper confidence is very strong in what he has given to us. That you can see throughout all the pages of his books. His confidence in what he has given to us is very, very strong and prominent. The majority of us are lazy. I'm not taking it seriously. So if one decides, I'm not meeting up, I want to do something extra to help myself move forward in my Christian consciousness, and that is not affecting my service in the movement, it should be done. It is perfect. It is bona fide. We get blessings. And just the last thing, uh, is, uh, in Puranas, it says that just being in Vrindavana, in atmosphere of Vrindavana, and more than that, being here at the time of Purushottama Mass, even you are not doing anything, even you are not chanting, you are not doing any service, you are just lying down on the ground of Vrindavana, it purifies you and liberates you. Yes, that is <coughs> the mercy of Krishna letting us understand the potency of what he has arranged for our benefit. But it is not a license for us to deviate. Oh, Prasetama is so powerful. Oh, Kartik is so powerful. Oh, Hare Krishna Temple Vrindavan is so wonderful. Therefore, now I can be lazy. I won't get the message. An intelligent devotee should say, oh, so since it's, this is this process, this 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 time is so powerful, let me maximize this this fortune by properly adjusting my consciousness, by properly presenting myself in such a way that 
Guru and Krishna will be happy with me. This will be our consciousness. If we have this mindset, we will have the maximum benefit. And this is a way we can appreciate what the Prophet has given to us. Not by writing a long letter on his Vyasa Puja day. That is not the offering. Not by building a big osana for him and place him there and do something else. It's not by building a magnificent temple. That is an expansion of our own empire. It may not necessarily be an offering to Prabhupada. If the heart is offered, if the heart is really offered, that is offering. And that will show in all our external activities. Because what is inside will show what is outside. <clears throat> so if you, if you take advantage of this procession mass and maximize the fortune, we will, we will be happy we did. We'll make advancement. <laughs> <coughs> yes. Krishna Maharaj, thank you. Um, Maharaj, I have two questions. You mentioned how Arjuna says to Krishna, now my illusion is gone, I'm ready to do whatever you want me to do. Yes. So I was thinking when you said that, when Arjuna says this, it's definitive. He's yes. not going to go back on, on his decision or his opinion. Yes. We are not like that. We have very <laughs> strong association. When we are hearing from very advanced devotees, when we are in, in good consciousness, we we feel like that, that, yes, I'm ready to do it. And then tomorrow we don't feel like that. Mm. It, you know, our mind changes. We become conditioned by the more of ignorance again. Um, so how do, we, how do we become like Arjuna? How do we become, how do we come to a point where we don't go back again and, and, and change our mind again? And that's my first question. My second question was... Maybe we should deal with this so I don't forget. Let me deal with this. Constant practice. Constant practice. Constant hearing. Constant remembrance. Putting ourselves in a situation that will always help to remind us about what we have promised. We will get it. Then, look at our doing situation. Arjuna was facing the whole world in battle. He was fighting with people whom he cannot fight with. That means that he has anxiety. We are still feeling comfortable in our mature situation. That is our problem. When, when the person is thinking, oh, I still have a long life, oh, I'm very young, oh, I'm very intelligent, oh, I have all this facility, <clears throat> Kunti Devi said, such a person cannot pray with feelings to Krishna. This is our problem. Arjuna was really feeling the pain of material existence. Therefore, when he got the solution, he gave his full attention to it, and he followed it, and he attained perfection. The same with Parishit Maharaj. He was going to die in seven days. Our seven days, maybe 100 years, I would think, oh, my seven days is 100 years. So, okay. I still have chance. When it is one, one week, then I'll... Who knows the time? We are still feeling comfortable. This is our problem. Therefore, we should give up this mentality. It is very, very dangerous. Feeling comfortable in material world is very dangerous mentality. It should be given up. Then we will be able to have the same mindset and the same mood with Parishit Maharaj and Arjun. Thank you. Um, my second question, and maybe it's related probably the answer was already there. Um, we can understand Shri Prabhupada gave us, is giving us all the chance, the equal opportunity. And Shri Prabhupada is even saying, you can do it in even one lifetime. Yes. But then when we look around us, we look at the devotees we associate with, we see that there are devotees who are even from their previous lifetime, they are already coming from a very high level of devotional service, of spiritual realization. And I speak for myself, I am not coming from such a high level, I feel I'm, I'm starting now. And trying to aim for that, because we feel Prabhupada gave us the chance, he says you can do it in one lifetime. So some desire is there, yes, there's opportunity, it's like he's giving us a golden opportunity. But at the same time, because I'm not coming into Christian consciousness with the same amount of devotional credits, 
trying to attain that or trying to desire for that goal is like walking through fire. It's a, it's a, it's a very difficult process and very, um, very painful in some ways because um, the false ego is still there, the identification with the body is still there, the desire to be comfortable in the material. These things are very deeply rooted and uh, I've been carrying it with me for many, many lifetimes. Not, not just you, all of us. <laughs> so we thank you for your <laughs> humility. For <laughs> It's very good <coughs> to, to think like this. Uh, can I make a comment on that? Okay. Are you finished? Yes, all right. When I was uh, still, uh, before I was a devotee, 